Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this very exciting and challenging video on radical equations, we are going to take up one very interesting equation today. 4th root of 11 minus x plus 4th root of 22 minus x is equal to 4th root of 33 minus 2x. We have to find out real valued x. Okay. Now I will begin with domain. How we can conclude our domain. So from 1st 4th root, we can write, this should be positive whatever is written inside the 4th root. So obviously x must be less than or equal to 11. This is restriction for 1st 4th root. Okay. Now come to the 2nd 4th root. Here x must be less than or equal to 22 for real valued solution or real solution. For the outcome, x should be, means this 3rd 4th root, x should be less than 33 over 2. That means 16.5. Let me write. Now I will draw one number line. I will take intersection of all three. So here I will write 22. Here I will consider 16.5. Here I will consider 11. Now first condition is this. Second condition is this. And third condition is this. So you can see the overall intersection. So that region is x less than or equal to 11. First thing we should know that once x is less than or equal to 11, then our real valued solution will come or real solution will come. Okay. Now I will give our substitution. So let us consider a equal to fourth root of 11 minus x. Similarly, b equal to fourth root of 22 minus x. This is our initial substitution or consideration. Now, what I will do from these two, I will write our equation in terms of rational free power. So it is right now 1 by 4, 1 by 4 power. So I can write a power 4 taking 4 power both sides, exponent 4 both sides. So a power 4 will be 11 minus x b power 4 will be 22 minus x. Okay, let's add both the equation. So I can write a power 4 plus b power 4. It would be equal to 33 minus 2x. And see, here it is 32, 33 minus 2x. So I will use this. Now let us write, apply these conditions and let's write our original equation, this one. So equation will become a plus b, fourth root we have considered a, fourth root second term we have considered b. So a plus b equal to, right hand side you can see inside the fourth root it is a power 4 plus b power 4. So let me write fourth root a power 4 plus b power 4. Done. Now I will raise both sides power 4. So I can write a plus b whole power 4 equal to a power 4 plus b power 4. Now expansion is required. I will use Pascal's triangle. That is easy I guess. So let's draw 1 1 power 1. Power 2 1 2 1. Power 3 1 3 3 1. Power 4 1 4 6 4 1. So here are the coefficients of our expansion. So let's write our expansion first. So I can write a power 4. First coefficient is 1. So 1 a power 4. First power will decrease. Second power will increase. Second term we have coefficient 4. I will write 4 a cube b. b power 0 now b power 1. Next term third coefficient is 6. 6 a square b square. Second power will increase. Second term's power will increase. First term power will decrease. Fourth coefficient you can see 4. I will write over there a b cube. And then last coefficient is 1. So b power 4. This is our LHS left hand side. And right hand side is a power 4 plus b power 4. Now I will cancel whatever I can. Now what is left? 4 a cube b. 4ab cube. So only three terms are there. Let me write first 4a cube b 
प्लस फोर ए बी क्यूब प्लस सिक्स ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ वी हैव टू कंक्लूड फ्रॉम हेयर लेट मी राइट हेयर फोर ए क्यूब बी प्लस फोर ए बी क्यूब प्लस सिक्स ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू जीरो now i can see few terms are co first i will divide this equation with 2 so i can write 2a cube b plus 2ab cube plus 3a square b square constant is done okay now i can see from first two term i can take ab common or overall i can take ab common so let me take overall ab common so i will write ab inside this i will write 2a square plus 2b square plus 3ab this is our very very important equation now we know that if f dot g dot h dot h means in product form functions product is equal to 0 then we will conclude f0 g0 and h0 let's apply over here so i will write a equal to 0 b equal to 0 and third term that is this bracket equal to 0 2a square plus 2b square let me write 3ab equal to 0 let's solve this for real solution that means keeping one thing in our mind x should be less than or equal to 11 that was our restriction through domain calculation okay what was a first fourth root our a was let me write here fourth root of 11 minus x this was our a so if a is 0 so i can say a power 4 will also be 0 for real valued solution so i can write a power 4 is 11 minus x equal to 0 what is a power 4 11 minus x raise both sides power 4 so from here we can write x must be equal to 11 that is our first solution come to the second equation what was b this was our substitution b the first term was a so i can write similarly b power 4 is equal to 22 minus x so i will same analyze this equation too that is if b is 0 b power 4 must be 0 what is b power 4 b power 4 is 22 minus x So 22 minus x equal to zero. That means x is equal to 22. And as per our condition, we will reject this solution because 22 is greater than 11, as it is not fulfilling our restriction. X less than or equal to 11. Third equation. Come to this equation, the third one. So I will conclude this equation. Let me consider here. 2a square plus 2b square plus 3ab equal to zero. Okay, I will write 2 in bracket a square plus b square equal to minus 3ab. Let us let us understand from the given equation what was our a and b. This was our a. This was our b. Okay. Now if I will write a square. So a square will be equal to a square root of 11 minus x. B square will be equal to a square root of 22 minus x. Let me write here. So two times a square root of 11 minus x plus a square root of 22 minus x. It is equal to minus three. Now a b. A b would be equal to fourth root. Take the product of both. 11 minus x times 22 minus x. Done. So I will write fourth root of 11 minus x times 22 minus x. So one conclusion is about to come from here. As you can see, we are talking about real solution and left hand side having sum of two square roots. So it would be always positive. For real solution, this value must be positive. so it is coming out negative see here it is minus sign so that means 
complex solution will generate. So no need to go further for this equation, complex solution. So overall, so far we have calculated x equal to 11 our final solution. Let me show you Wolfram alpha. What Wolfram alpha is saying, if equation is this, then we are having two solutions, x11 and x22. And see it is written assuming a complex valued fourth root. Means once we are still number is real number, it is not complex, x is equal to 22. But once I will apply over here in the original equation, let me show you x equal to 22. Let's put over there. So it is fourth root of 11 minus 22, so minus 11. Second term would be 0. And see what is RHS? Fourth root of 33 minus 44, so minus 11. See by the fundamental it is not defined actually. Okay. For complex number only. Okay. So you can see there minus 1, square root of negative 1 is i. That is why it will generate the complex solutions. That is why we won't consider x is equal to 22 as a real solution. Okay. So our final solution becomes x is equal to 11. This is the only solution. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care.